What? Oh yeah, that's happening. <laughs> Can't forget this. I'm walking through a jet bridge, which means you're watching Back Across the Planet. That's just what we do. Beautiful Airbus A320 and my first ever flight on CityLink. So I'm gonna board my A320 on CityLink, which means it's obligatory airplane trivia time. So that's what we do here. This A320 is part of a family, including the A318, 319, 321, and basically it's a huge competitor by Airbus to the uh, Boeing 737, and it's kind of killing it. Um, and I don't know, other esoteric details, it happens to be about 10 inches wider than the 737 and it makes noises when they turn on the fuel pumps to turn on the other engine. And this is CityLink, as opposed to Garuda, which I told you guys last week is the only airline you should fly in Indonesia, but this is actually owned by them, or at least used to be, and is one of the other airlines that's allowed to fly in the EU, which bodes well. Okay, that's been enough trivia. They like green here. Thank you, Tree Makasi. <laughs> and the diplomatic mission to Alderaan continues now. Oh wow, this thing is rickety. In Bali. I'm gonna be on that one soon. All right, it's 1640. The boat that I'm supposed to be on leaves at 1730 and it's only a half hour away, so I, I think I'm gonna make it. I'm totally gonna make it. That's gonna happen. No matter what, it's gonna be good. I'm kind of just thinking about the future right now and worrying about it, but it hasn't happened yet, so there's no sense. I say that, it's so easy to say. Bahasa of the day is Maf Parmisi. Just uh, please take the toll road. I've always wanted to just get into a cab and say, step on it! Sit rep, it looks like I might actually make it to the boat in time. Uh, just kind of stuck in Bali traffic, but doing my best. As in, I'm sitting here and accepting that all that is is what is, and I don't have any control over the situation. Especially when I pasted instead of copying in this document, accidentally overwrote all of this stuff in Google Keep on my phone, and then I lost like some important phone numbers because there's no undo. And I would hit Control Z, but again, it's Android. I have no control. So one of the cool things about Bali is anyone can lane split. It doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you are. You could be like a, a scooter or a pedestrian or a car or a lorry or a, you could be a tractor. A fucking tractor. <laughs> Ow! Oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I got another one. Okay. Streets are for cars and motorcycles and pedestrians and chickens and everything in between. I can't believe it, I'm that guy. I'm that guy with a sticker on my chest. And um, a roller board on this.
they seem to have arrived. You're not going to be able to see any of this, but just suffice it to say that the adventure is continuing in the back of a pickup truck. Something like that. If you have a great idea, bring it to the web the way Shannon and I do and head over to Domain.com. With an awesome domain discovery service and a quick and easy checkout process, you'll have the perfect site up and running in no time. And the guys over at Domain.com are huge Hack5 fans, which is why HAK5 will save you an extra 20% at Domain.com. Or just send them a tweet and say thanks for supporting Hack5 all these years. So, when you think domain names, think Domain.com. So you know that moment when you get off a boat in the middle of the night and you have no idea where you are, but then you wake up and you're all like, oh, it's... Actually, I forgot the name of this island. Hey, sorry to interrupt the episode and I hope it's not too windy. The pool on the roof does have a leak, in fact. Seriously though, I must be making Hack Across the Planet look like a giant vacation. Oh, it's one of those things I wish I could tell you about the cool, epic thing I'm building, but NDAs. You guys know. Anyway, I was literally just editing this episode and stressing out about something, and I just, I wanted to share with you guys that I'm a bit of a control freak. Actually, I wouldn't say that I'm a, a control freak, I would just say that I'm, I'm really, I'm most comfortable when I'm in control. Or at least that I, I feel like I have an active part of the outcome of a situation and it's it's sort of one of the reasons why I was drawn to computers and programming as a kid I, I don't know about you guys but I feel like hey if I write a program you know I write some code and I run it it's gonna do exactly as I say and if it doesn't it's not because it's mad or it doesn't like me it's not feeling good it's it's because I messed up you know and then you just you just spend some time fixing the code you just do some debugging find the missy semicolon and move on with your day but life isn't always like that. I mean, there's no, there's no recompile, there's no undo, there's no control break. And so as I'm like hanging out here on this extended layover on my way to Australia here in Bangkok, I'm, I'm dealing with a little bit of anxiety, a little bit of stress uh, over the unknown. And I figured this was a good opportunity for me to just offer a tip or two about control, which is to say control, Forget about it. You never had it to begin with, right? All you can do is your best and accept that whatever comes to you is what is. You know, I don't, I don't feel like the universe uh, gives you a lemon because you deserve it or because you're a bad person. I, I really don't think the universe cares. What you are in control of, though, is, is what you do with that lemon. And, you know, it is so easy to just let the monkey mind forecast and predict all of the potential possibilities about the future that hasn't happened. You know, trust me, I am, I am awesome at this. I'm really good about speculating all the ways everything has gone terribly wrong. But the truth is the future hasn't happened yet. I mean, the only moment you actually have is this one right here. And, and if you could choose how you're gonna feel in every possible situation, I mean, why wouldn't you choose to be happy? So, Relax, you know, let, let life unfold. I say as if it's easy to, but you know, it, it's gonna go at the same pace, you know, one second per second, whether you're dwelling about a future that hasn't happened or living in the moment. And when that lemon, if that lemon ever does come, you have three choices. You can change the situation, you can leave the situation, you can accept the situation. Seriously, this is like pseudo code for life. There are only three options ever, and, and they're all perfectly fine options. You know, if you can't change it, well, you can either leave it or accept it. And if, if the circumstances are such that you just, you can't change it and you can't leave it, then you don't have a choice. You just gotta live with it. That's the one that I have the hardest time with, really. I, I, have, I have such a terrible time accepting what is. Just surrendering to what is. And as it turns out though, surrender, surrender is a good thing. You know, surrender, there's nothing wrong with it. It doesn't mean you're weak. It actually means quite the contrary. You are strong, right? It's, it's in those moments that you find yourself where you, you have to do nothing more than just accept what is and surrender to what is. Just, 
just remind yourself of what you do have control over. And remember to breathe. And if you're anxious or depressed, just, you know, eat well, sleep well, take time for yourself, and don't drink alcohol. Um, just hack your happiness. All right, that's enough life hacks. Sorry to co-op the episode like this, but, you know, really the only thing that you're missing is me on a beach telling you guys about some stories about that National Geographic documentary. And I left all of my footage from Beirut back in San Francisco, so I'll just wait until Shannon shows up in Australia, and then I'll make something awesome then. Until then, I, I'll see you in Australia. I hope that you guys can come out to the meetup. There's details over at hackacrosstheplanet.com. Thank you so much for supporting us at hackshop.com. Uh, there's more episodes at hack5.org. And as always, trust your technolus. Or, or hack your happiness. Um, I'm going to check out the pool situation. I really do think it has a leak. <laughs>